Welcome to the On Our Way Home podcast. The goal of On Our Way Home is to encourage you to keep taking steps with Jesus, with a good local church, and with a few close friends so that we will stay on Jesus' path, a path of truth which leads to life with the Father. Welcome to the On Our Way Home podcast. We are really glad that you are watching and listening today. We are back again, and we have some good friends with us today in the podcast. We have Rachel, and we have Jake joining us today. And uh, so we're really excited. We're going to be talking about worship and praise and God. And what else are we talking about? That's the Jesus gist of Bible it. Cut. That's all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we're talking about Jesus today, <laughs> mm-hmm. because he's the best person you could ever want to talk about. And mm-hmm. so, uh, one of the things that we know about worship is that um, there sometimes there can be a lot of preferences that come in. We'll just kind of get right mm-hmm. into it right out of the gate here. Right out of the gate. Let's go. <clears throat> but before that. <laughs> we'll take a U-turn because we want to talk about Jake. This is your first time on the podcast. It Ooh. is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Last and time I was in here, I was dressed up as a knight. So, yes. Yeah. And I will. One of the nice things about our podcast is that I can take a little image. So oh, I was watching lovely. the. I was watching our video that we made. Yeah. The D Rock. It was. So, it's still funny. <laughs> <laughs> so a few weeks later, and still makes me laugh. So uh, I'll put times. that. I'll put a little image of uh, you being D Rock as the knight, and I'll be the fancy. Fancy man. <laughs> fancy okay, man. fancy man. It's so that was so funny. It's gonna uh, stick. That's yeah. gonna <laughs> stick. <laughs> but we wanted to talk about your personal story. So before the pad- podcast started, Rachel, we said, you know, maybe I you don't need to share yours, but maybe you could a little. Sure. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Because everyone needs to know everyone's story. Mm-hmm. We all have a, uh, a place where Jesus intersected our lives, and we want to make sure that we're practicing sharing our story mm-hmm. <clears throat> because you never know if God's going to open up a door. Right. Um, you also told me to keep it under two hours for my story. I, I did, right. Yes, so yeah, one of the I'll things try. that we'll give a little <laughs> uh, information to everybody about, Jake is a great talker and he knows how to talk. <laughs> I just like my, words. just like, <laughs> just like my son Nathaniel, Nathaniel, and just like his mm-hmm. dad, you know. So uh, I also can have a, a lot of words, and <laughs> Rachel is good at speaking, but then she likes to be drawn out yes. a little bit. Yeah. The so. woman in the room is the one of few words. <laughs> yeah, but you better listen when you when, when Rachel says something. So, <clears throat> so if you want to kind of kick us off, Jake, how did my story you first? Yeah, how did you yeah. how did you come to faith in Jesus? And yeah, um, I, have a, I have an interesting story because it was really young in life. Um, I was only three years old. Yeah, when I got the gospel, you know, I grew up in it. You know, in the church, my parents were both Christians, believers, and um, but it was kind of a, a strange way that I um, came to know Jesus was through one of those, and it was too old for me, but it was one of those end times videos. I forgot what it was called, like Thief of the Night or something like that. Wow, you watched that. Yeah, with one of my aunts. Okay. <laughs> and she was showing us kids this video. <laughs> and yeah. And I was like, oh. I was like <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit scary. I was paying attention. Yes. I was like, I don't really want to go through that. That yes. does not sound fun. Right. And the way that I can avoid going through that was uh, believing on Jesus. And he would save me. And at that time, it was save me from going through the tribulation. Okay. Because I didn't want to go through all that. And right. that looked really rough in the movie. Thank yeah. You. And so that was actually my first. I was just sitting in the back of our van at a boring meeting, I called them. It was a, B- boring. Church, a church board meeting. <laughs> but I was a kid, and I had to go to them. So I'm only like sitting in the van at the boring meeting. Yes, and, counting all the ceiling <laughs> tiles or something. And yeah. was lost in my thoughts as a th- three-year-old. You don't think about three-year-olds thinking about this. But yeah. a lot of times they're probably thinking about things. Right. They're not just sitting there staring at the wall. Right. <laughs> There's thoughts going through yeah, the mind. Yeah, stuff's going on. And so uh, I prayed that prayer and like to receive Jesus as my Savior and confess my sins. And, um, but I mean, even though it came from fear, you yes. know, mm-hmm. which isn't the way I would approach it, right? Is it, um, you it's, it's still, yeah. still, it's still stuck. And I learned about God's love later and how, um, that needs to be the focus mm-hmm. is God's love draws us to Him and that's why He wants to save us from it. Yeah. It's not just a ticket out of the, uh, the, yeah, no, yeah. the fire, right? Yeah. So I learned more as I grew, but uh, that started at three years old. Okay. And so even at four, I, um, I already had in my mind I wanted to be a missionary okay. when I grew up, and wow. I wanted to be a musician Okay. at the same time. At four years old, you did that? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's kind of cool to see how I was really young and already had that calling on my life. Yeah, a that's really... A musicianary, if you yeah. know. A musicianary, yeah. <clears throat> so that's... 
That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice way to say that. We, I think you just made a new word that's probably going to stick. So, mm-hmm. so then you accepted Christ young, but then were there times when you rededicated your life to Christ, or that you did you ever doubt your salvation yeah, at all? Yeah. So for okay. a, a few years, actually, probably I'd go through and thinking. Because you overthink things, you know, when you're yes. little, thinking, yeah, you, did you, I really do that or did I not? Yeah. Or was it just a dream? And it took till probably like age seven, probably, where oh. I realized mm-hmm. that it wasn't me saying the words that saved me, where it was, oh, I believe. Yeah. So I knew inside, I was like, oh, if I ever doubt it, I was like, it doesn't matter if it was a dream, like, I know what I believe. Right. And then I never, then I never doubted after that. But okay. I was probably about seven years old. Okay. At that yeah. time. It's not about magical words and phrases, right? right. Mm-hmm. You don't say hocus pocus and then you're saved. You mm-hmm. know, it's. But that's what the <clears throat> praying the prayer, the, you know, sinner's prayer is what got me, you know, started thinking right. that way mm-hmm. and got my life going in that direction. Mm-hmm. And then I learned as I went. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's and after really age good. seven, I don't think I ever had another doubt yeah, or question. Because you were continually involved in the church, mm-hmm. so it's not like you just made a decision and then didn't. You weren't a part. You were a part of a church. Mm-hmm. Your parents were teaching you about Jesus, yep. and I had I had my own Bible too. To okay, read. so mm-hmm. it was one of those you know the comic strip picture Bibles. Oh yeah, those are really good. really good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and I would read that and read it again, and read it again. So I had all that. Right. Um, you know, being fed like every day. So, yeah. So, mm-hmm. kids, if you're watching the podcast or you're bored with your, it's like, I don't know how to read it yet. It's like, hey, you can get almost like a, a like a Bible graphic novel or something like that. Yeah, and you can really get cool started version. with some comic book type drawings that we have. I think we have a couple of upstairs that we. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. So, those, those are really are good. Really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're, and they're, the one I had it was a, the one that, I don't know when they made it in the 80s or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> It's really accurate. I mean, yeah, it's biblical. Yeah, you know, and they don't water it down too much. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> you know the stories, right? And I would always correct my Sunday school teachers when they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "No, you're wrong." They're like, "What are you?" I'm like, well, look it up. You know? <laughs> and they'd always tell my mom, "Your son's always correcting us, but that's good because we want to get it right." Uh, yeah, because it'll be a minor detail. It doesn't really matter much, right? But little but details. To me, it does. Yes, right. I'm mm-hmm. like, no, that, that that wasn't the right amount of bread. You know, right. it was five. You know? Yes, <laughs> five loaves and two that's fish. Not, that's not the specific not, story. Not they probably six, got that one yes, right, but mm-hmm. other things. Right. <laughs> what about you, Rachel? How did you come to faith in Jesus? Uh, yeah, my similar to Jake, I guess. I just grew up in the church. and Yeah. Um, Your parents were believers, right? Yeah. I went to church my entire life, Washington Avenue Baptist, since I was three, and then over here to Cornerstone. Okay. Uh, and I was about five years old in my little preschool room there. Okay. At Washington Avenue Baptist. So you were with your teacher, or mm-hmm. and she was talking about the gospel or something? Yeah, I have a bad memory, but yeah, yeah something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you just know that that was the time and the place where you wanted to yeah, yeah. choose to believe in Jesus. Yeah, that was kind of like the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then more of like rededications and that kind of thing when I understood a little bit more when I was older, like at <clears throat> Center Lake Bible Camp and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there should be... So when you're saved, it's not just like that's you're done. It's mm-hmm. like that's the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there's a never deepening. Like, mm-hmm. I think we're probably all would say that we're still deepening in our faith now. Oh, absolutely. We have to. Mm-hmm. A lot of more, a lot more experiences, a lot of, um, just life changes and mm-hmm. I change. And so I need to keep on deepening, mm-hmm. being more word focused, Christ centered and spirit empowered, mm-hmm. which is happens to be part of our worship distinctives that we're going to be getting back to in a little bit here. <laughs> that was convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you call a segue. So mm-hmm. we're kind of moving uh, through that. But there's other we'll probably get to some other decisions that helped you. So you felt a call to like um, mm-hmm. music and to and to evangelize, like, evangelize, tell other people about Jesus. Yep. Okay, so at I a very young. Bo- I started both of those at a young age, actually. So okay. I was able to lead a couple of my cousins, my brother. Yeah, you know, to the Lord as well. My yeah. older brother, he still remembers that he was five at the time. So okay, it was shortly after me. Yeah, and then um, I always had a desire to play <clears throat> music and sing. I was singing since I was one. My mom has a picture of me jumping on the bed singing um, Jesus Loves Me, so, wow. or a video, not a picture, home video. Okay. I was actually singing it at one years old. I was like, whoa, whoa that's crazy, yeah, one year, yeah. nine years. <laughs> Jesus loved me at one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I was singing it word for word. Wow. And so she's mm-hmm. like, well, he's going to be a singer. Right. And then I would always like go up to the piano and try to play something, yeah. not knowing what I was doing. And yeah. um, I just really wanted to play something. It never sounded good, but I would try, keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> so I started taking lessons when I was like seven. Okay. And um, yeah, pursued that like classical piano at first. Okay. And then um, 
and then that turned into more things like with a band and stuff like that. But it wasn't piano at first. Piano came back later. Yeah. I wanted to play the b- bass. I wanted to play something with strings that looked cool. So okay. I was a bass player in our band for 10 years. So. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. And so mm-hmm. your band experience was probably a part of your faith development then or your, mm-hmm. your was, ministry development? Would you say musicianary? Musicianary. Yeah, no. musicianary. Because um, <laughs> we also did child evangelism fellowship training for being missionaries. At, at 13, so I started at 13 through 18. Our band, which was a Christian rock band, worship band, we started when I was 16. So okay, a few and years that, into that. Was that the Clean Slate? Mm-hmm, Clean Slate, which okay. is still going today. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. Mm-hmm. They have some good songs, but it's, you should listen. Oh, yeah, you can find us on Spotify. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Put a little plug in there. K-L-E-E-N-S-L-8. There you go. The number eight. <laughs> number eight, yes. Like a little eight like that. Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it then if you spell it right. But, yeah, anyway, we were able to, the first song I wrote, like, had a lot of the gospel in it, and so we were able to weave uh, nice. the CE, Child Evangelism Fellowship. If you hear me say CEF, that's going to come back a lot. It's yeah. Child Evangelism Fellowship training yep. through all of our concerts. Right. And so we could give the gospel message and do music, and it was like, that was, it was like, yes, this is living yeah. what I always wanted to do. Yeah, that's it's, really, really mm-hmm. cool. That is really awesome. Um, so you are involved... On the, as a communications person here at the church, you're uh-huh. you're serving on staff. Yeah. And how long have you been doing that, Rachel? Mm, like a year and a half. Yeah. It's just before Easter last year. Like a month longer than me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so mm-hmm. you're the new guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the new guy by one you're month. You're the new one. Okay, by <laughs> by one month. And but you and then but, you were uh, called. You really felt the. Uh, how did you end up getting here? I know maybe not a lot yeah. of people know that. That's you, a good story. That is true. A lot of people probably don't know. So yeah. we first my okay. Got to keep it short. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll go back to, we felt like we, so we built a house in Martin. I'll start there. Yeah. And where we, we were part of a church plant there. And it's been going on for about 10 years. The church is still doing well, but yeah. God was moving us. And um, part of that was feeling like the, the call to like give up our house. Because we had prayed for this house and we had felt like, and you know, we we're reading scripture where God provides. It says, like, you know, expand your tent as your family yeah. expands and also um, delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm-hmm. So we're like, well, we desire this and this and this in a house and a community, you know, right. Let's see, let's pray about it and watch God make it happen. And he did. Wow. Like, um, almost to the T it wasn't quite everything. There were like two minor things. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But it was like God's word was working mm-hmm. and, and through your prayers. Right. And then that's what developed there. Exactly. And so we're like, and then as soon as we get done, we both felt like God's like, well, now that you have your dream or whatever, yeah. <laughs> would you give it up for me? We're like, we just got it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, but he put on our heart that someone else needed the house more than we did. Wow. And they don't have the ability to build like I do. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so Val came to me and said, because they were talking about doing an expansion on their house and it wasn't really going to meet their needs. Right. Because it still was going to be really small. Yeah. And it, they needed twice that size for nine people. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, just talking to him, I was like, well, what about our house? I was like, you did not just say that. Cause I was thinking that for the past like week or so, but so didn't say anything. You, wow. She's like, well, that's how we know it's the Holy spirit, you know? Mm-hmm. And then when we talked to them about mm-hmm. it, they were like instantly like, yes, you know, like God was preparing them for it. Cause he told them not to plant their garden that year. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so they've been on this journey too, that God's going to provide for us. Okay. And um, so that just, you know, once we cut those ties there, mm-hmm. we went on a little work trip like, well, we're free now, so we can help other pe- family members that needed us in another state. Mm-hmm. Then we came back. We were praying where God wanted us to live next because we're like, we're just open. You know, where do you want us to be? We have no ties anymore to anything, mm-hmm. just wherever it is, whatever state. And then um, we didn't want to build again. Our <laughs> bail especially is like, I don't want to do that process again. It's not easy. Yes. And, um, so I was looking. we were looking for houses we could buy and fix up. Couldn't find any. Mm-hmm. And then I saw this property online up here in Ludington. And um, went to it, and I was just like, well, I just got to check it out. Uh, mm-hmm. It looks so nice on the pictures, you know. Right. <laughs> and uh, it's very affordable. So I went there, and I was just like, it's beautiful. I hear the birds chirping, the sun shining through the pine trees. You yeah. Know? I don't hear any cars, you know. Mm-hmm. We're just far enough away from the highway. I was like, this is beautiful. I was like, yeah. Phil, we got to check this out. And anyway, we ended up buying it and uh, started building a house without any other thing mm-hmm. up here for us. And then wow, try to jump a couple, another year forward. So I was serving on the the worship team at Trinity because mm-hmm. we just we just picked one and started yep. going, mm-hmm. and uh, which is a great church, and we were we were content there and happy. And I was just started playing piano on the the worship team there. Mm-hmm. But then um, Val was like, and that was a time when God was speaking to Val like, this isn't quite what His calling is. 
like he's only using like a third of it, you know, mm-hmm. and, and that's all it was going to be because they had all the other pieces filled. Right. And people kept coming to me like the Thorns and other people. I was like, hey, you should come visit our church. And even people at Prayer and Praise was like, you need to go visit Cornerstone where <laughs> Pastor Jason is. You know, they're like, why are these people all sending us there? Uh, right. You know, to, There's kind of like that harmony of mm-hmm. people saying the same things, different right? Things at House yes. of Flavors, mm-hmm. knocking on our door at a rental house. And like, yeah. And then one Sunday, I, I was pretty much serving every week there. Yeah. And one Sunday, I wasn't. She's like, we just need to go visit there and just, yeah. just visit and see what happens. Yeah. And then walked in the door and like the first um the first message pastor joel was preaching was like wow this is this is really great it mm-hmm. was great what we were wanting to learn at the time yeah about the holy spirit's you know power um using us mm-hmm. and like empowering us to do as well and um so i was like well, that was a really good message mm-hmm. and then i was like well they don't need worship team help though you know mm-hmm. looking at them up there they're all set you know yeah <laughs> and, uh, oh, but, wait. <laughs> yeah. but then um yeah, so then, but I got to know Dale a little bit from Awana because we were serving here yeah. at Cubbies. Yeah. And um, and so, but I didn't know she was a pastor's wife. I just thought she was the coffee lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then somehow we were talking and I mentioned, she was like, so what do you do? I was like, oh, I build and I like, I like do music. You know, I have a uh, Christian rock and worship band and stuff. And she's like, huh. And then she's like, you need to talk to my husband. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I talked to Pastor Joel and I met Maury and, and it was like, God was like, basically like, he sent you for us. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> that, that, like, they, yeah. they felt the spirit move. Yeah. And, like, God was moving me there. And, um, and actually, come to find out, Pastor Gary and, like, no one, they had already told Joel about me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> beforehand. Yeah. So I didn't know they were talking. They're like, we know you're in need, but yeah. uh, there might be somebody. Yeah. But they didn't tell me that they were telling them about me. So, yeah. <laughs> so God was preparing the way ahead of time. And then, then I was, like, playing with the worship team, like, in two weeks later. Wow. Kind of. Yeah, Easter Sunday was your debut, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unintentional. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got a frog in their throat and was like, maybe you should sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, then the rest was history. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. So that's how you kind of came. You, you Just following one step at a time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's really, really good. Um, w- even, I mean, for life, but I think it really good for, you know, how you how do you plan worship? We're going to be talking about mm-hmm. that in a little bit, too. It's you know, one step at a time, and you're working with the team that is that God has put in place. Mm-hmm. And then um, we want to kind of probe into that a little bit of how songs are selected, how you develop worship, you know, how do you know what songs would be good, what's good mm-hmm. for a congregation, uh, how do preferences enter into all that kind of stuff. So we'll kind of talk through all those kind of different things. Um, how do you... Um, how would you describe the process that you use for developing the list of songs um, for mm-hmm. worship? Um, because we have 52 weeks a year. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> or this this year we actually have 53 weeks because oh, wow. January. Extra one, huh? little, yeah, bonus, <laughs> bonus thought. Yes, bonus weeks. <laughs> we yes. have a little extra week uh, because we had January 1st was a Sunday this year. So um, how do you go about developing yeah. that? And how does our – we'll talk about our worship distinctives also. So this has been written quite a while, and I don't think – a while ago, and I can't remember. I think it was 2021. Yeah. yeah. And so there's just a ton of scriptures on the mm-hmm. worship distinctive extra verses. So make sure you get the two-page copy. Mm-hmm. We have some in the office. Come by and pick them up. Grab a cup of coffee. We'll help you out there. But there's a ton of verses that relate to what our elders believed God leading us to be. This is what's going to drive our worship, our musical worship mm-hmm. um, praise as a church. So um, what... How do you go about planning? This is like the longest yes. question that has not had an answer yeah. yet. No, so no, I, I, can, pol- I, I, can, I can jump in. I know what you're asking. <laughs> yeah. So how do we go about planning this? And you can feel free to butt in here too when you have a two cents to offer. Yeah. To so do that because it's, it's really a team. <laughs> it's really a team effort. Like mm-hmm. it's not one person picking all the songs or even two people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we kind of approach it together, and um, and we really want to rely on the Holy Spirit to lead it. Mm-hmm. And when He lines us all, like it'll be like three of us up together like hey this song we're like really you were thinking that same song and i love it when that someone happens. else will come in hey what about this song we're like okay that's definitely god saying yeah. this song because a lot of times it's not our favorite song yeah. you know to, sometimes but it's what god wants okay and, so, um, so so i guess what you're saying there and we talked about a little bit before mm-hmm. we need to all lay down our preferences mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When it comes to worship, mm-hmm. because yeah. our worship together on Sunday is like a big family meal right. with everybody present 
from grandchildren up to, or great grandchildren, all the way up to great grandparents, right? Mm-hmm. So everybody's in the house. We're mm-hmm. all we're all eating the same meal together. Yep, you can't just have mac and cheese, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can't have fried bologna. Well, let's I not mean, say it, like it, which band that would be. Yeah, you know, just, mac and cheese. Don't go there. <laughs> fried bologna. Yeah. Right. You just can't have prime right. rib. You know, so you can't yep. use some seasoning. So many different generations. Right. And some different I mean, preferences. Yeah, like uh, we were just over at my house, and my wife has a very nice seasoning blend for hamburgers. Yes, with thyme and oh, rosemary. Oh man, it's that so good. good. Yeah. <laughs> and it tastes great, but it's not everybody's gig. Mm-hmm, right. Some people have mm-hmm. more. That's sense. why Culver's doesn't put it on theirs. Uh, everybody loved it, you know. Yeah, right. Um, they have to more. They have yeah. to have a plain one that yes. everybody from Wisconsin forward would like. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're from they're from Wisconsin, right? Yeah, the cheese, Culver's, you know, yeah, the, the cheesy cheese, people. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a team effort. We're mm-hmm. laying our preferences down. So, and there mm-hmm. needs to be an alignment. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we try to align the whole. Like and we rely on God for this in the Word. We yes. try to line the whole service as one piece. So it's not like a chunk this and then okay now we're going over to this and it's mm-hmm. totally unrelated. Right. You don't want to strip the gears out mm-hmm. of the car. Right. So we try to make it in line with what the message is going to be, mm-hmm. at least uh, for the most part. Yeah. And uh, always pointing towards God mm-hmm. to yeah. start with, and then application to for us as well. Yeah. So there's different types of songs. Yeah. In like different ranges too, because like Rachel sings a little bit higher than I do, you know. Just yeah. a little. Everybody right. sings differently. <laughs> yeah. I guess like you one do. One key, <laughs> two keys, but she has the ability to go even higher. Yeah. <laughs> right, and not everybody in the church. So when everybody we, sings at different levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we want the the whole congregation to be actively involved. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I preached that message on Psalm 150, and the main idea was let's not watch worship happen, let's make worship happen, mm-hmm. right? So everybody needs to be singing we every Sunday. Involved, yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. actively involved. And a lot of people probably don't know that it doesn't matter what they sound like because even from like us up front, because they don't get to hear this part, like all together combined is yeah. when it sounds the best. Mm-hmm. It's just oh, like because of the mm-hmm. power oh, in it, you know? Oh, man. And um, oh, all together, to Nashville, um, right now. Aren't you? <laughs> no, I was just like that is such a powerful. <laughs> all together combined is the best. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's mm-hmm. like all the ingredients get mixed yeah. in. Mm-hmm. It's like every little that. Do we, I mean? Does a, a a pinch of salt does that really make a difference? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Just that little yeah, pinch of right something, spot, yeah. like that. We were talking about the men's breakfast, mm-hmm. uh, that or the men's uh, chili cook-off that we had. Yeah, Chris made the. What did he make? The elk chili. Elk chili. Oh, it was so good. Just it was, the right amount of heat, the right it, amount of sweet. Yeah. Heat and sweet. Oh, man, it even <laughs> rhymed. It was so... I didn't eat it because I, I'm afraid of the heat. So anyway... <laughs> it wasn't that hot. You would have been okay. It was the number one... It was the number one chili. It was, yeah. And so all the things, all the things coming together. Um, and you guys are up on the stage. I want to... We don't want to call it a stage. It's the platform or the whatever it mm-hmm. is. Because we don't... Worship is not entertainment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the Can difference, because there's a fine line there, too. Okay. Because you want me to go on that right now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> that would be, be good. I'm trying to get Rachel to talk more. But I Rachel like your little... doesn't need to talk. <laughs> but she will in a little minute. Okay. And your yeah. two cents is always welcome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Did you have anything to add about how we put songs together first, though, before we move I on? was just thinking of a couple instances, like, on Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. I was standing there, and I'm like, man, this just doesn't feel right. And then Joel came up. He's like, man, this just doesn't feel (laughs) right. And then Jake gets there and like, hey, Jake, can we change this song? He's like, yeah, sure, okay, you know, like. Because I was like, yeah, I think that one doesn't really fit. Yeah. It felt like it fit last week, but all of a sudden, like, we need to switch gears. So sometimes it's the day, the yeah. You know, 30 like, minutes ahead of time or an hour that yeah. we switched the song. Right. Yeah, and then you're like, you did not just do that. I'm like, yeah, we kind of did, but it's okay. Like, <laughs> right. That's not probably the normal. No, no, no. no. Right. So, the, our, so Pastor Joel does have all 52 weeks of the year, mm-hmm. um, uh, the passages and, the, you know, some of the, the closer we get, the more detail that's mm-hmm. involved. In right, it. yeah. And so, but, and then there's songs that you, you can kind of plug in or you read the scripture mm-hmm. that's going to be preached and you fit, think, oh, man, this might work or could this work or mm-hmm. this other thing work. But then sometimes the Holy Spirit says, mm-hmm. you know what? 
Mm-hmm. Um, no, that's not going to work. This is how we want yeah. it. This right. is how, or, yeah. That's God how he wants it. Yes, Spirit, yeah, wants th- it. Those yes. we. And yes. you know when it's the two that are like the super duper planners while Jason is too, but yes. like on the staff that say it, you know it's the Holy Spirit because I did not want to change that song. Right. Because I'm a planner. But you already practiced it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but that but was being, God saying, nope, change that song. So, <laughs> so no matter how well we plan in life, we still need to make sure that we're listening to the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you can be like, some of us are more not planned. Um, some <laughs> other people of us are more planned. Mm-hmm. And but some you, are in the middle. Yes, yeah, some are in the middle. <laughs> okay. Right, but you have to be willing to change if needed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. And that, yeah, and so and if you're God centered. So these things, some things do change, but these things don't, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, we're God-centered, like you talked about. Yes, and that, that brings us back to, like, the, the stage. We can go back to that now. Yeah. Right. So, like, the performance. So there is a fine line, because we don't want to be sloppy, you know? Right. Because mm-hmm. that can be a distraction. So we, we want to do our best in the yes. time that we have. Yeah. We don't want to burn ourselves out working too hard for mm-hmm. perfection. Mm-hmm. Right. Because if you get to, like, that perfection performance mode, it's easier just to tune out and just listen. Like, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I can't really sing along with mm-hmm. that. And it's like a concert, and so we don't want to get to that. So point. not a concert, mm-hmm. right? Because it has to be everybody involved. Mm-hmm. So like some of those songs, I might like if I'm singing them in the car, I might do all the fancy stuff, right? But then when we're singing it, I'm going to drop some of that out because it's too hard to follow. That right. makes sense. I'm still going to keep a little bit of it though, yeah. just for <laughs> emphasis, mm-hmm. right? Because it kind of it kind of reaches a different level, mm-hmm. yeah. But um, because you don't want to do any of it, yeah. Then it's just kind of. Drones. Yeah, so you don't want it flat, Mm -hmm. but you don't want it too fancy. Right. Just a little fancy. A little fancy fancy as Fancy Man. No, not as fancy. (laughs) (laughs) Right, so that's really... not too fancy, though. No, he's just right. (laughs) He's just right. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. So, So, uh, God That's one of the struggles, actually, that we have to go through to... Right, so yeah. it's not easy, mm-hmm. right? It's, lead, music is very there's there's so many. It's yeah, like a it's like a golf swing, you know. There's so many components of it, mm-hmm. and any little bit affects mm-hmm. the other parts, and it's very difficult to do it well. Mm-hmm. Right, and I, I think um, you probably heard this, but like music is one of those tools. It, like it, it goes right to the heart, you know. Yes, like mm-hmm. it can like it can skip where words sometimes can't mm-hmm. penetrate, yes. mm-hmm. and then music with the words can penetrate so yeah. there's a lot of motion involved as well yeah. emotion and that's just how it is mm-hmm. that's right. the nature of it so mm-hmm. there's that to play with as well mm-hmm. <laughs> and so um but it's a tool if you, when used right it can be very powerful mm-hmm. i think that's why the enemy wants us to be all you know stupid about it you know mm-hmm. to argue let's argue about it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no 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 let's not argue about it mm-hmm. let's talk about it but and that's why i mean mm-hmm. if lucifer was a the anointed cherub and you know the maybe a worship kind of uh, angel mm-hmm. before he fell there's a reason why music is so i mean god made music right right yeah so there's a and there's mm-hmm. something engaging with words and tunes that absolutely totally can get you i mean it can penetrate to the deepest darkest mm-hmm. parts of your heart exactly in a good way or a bad way yes. depending on the music yeah right yep my phone's mm-hmm. pinging. I'm going to have to shut I my... I just turned mine off. Oh, yeah, I sorry about gonna that. I was going to call right about now. <laughs> <laughs> I already... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't need... I can get to that later. So, the, it's not entertainment. It's... We're focusing... And God is our audience, right? Mm-hmm. 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 <clears throat> so, you're trying to lead us in worship. So, mm-hmm. what happens um, on the platform is meant to mm-hmm. focus our attention on God. Right. We're trying mm-hmm. to be like... If you can picture like a funnel, basically. Like, we want to funnel the attention... Yes. On God, yeah, for everybody, yeah, and it is quite a task because there's, like you said, there's so many different preferences, different singing ranges, yeah, singable. Um, so, how do you mm-hmm. work through songs being too high or too low? You mm-hmm. know, because some mm-hmm. songs or some people can lead higher, mm-hmm. but then that relates to the congregation that some people might have to drop an octave or right. you know, I've. I've had songs sometimes where I'm singing in a certain way, but then I'll have to drop it for the bridge or something yeah. like that, you know? So mm-hmm. how do you work through those sorts of things? Do you want to talk about this one? Do I want to talk about this? Uh, sure. <laughs> I can talk. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times, because we do have a pretty big range of people on the team, so we all do have a little bit of a different range. So mm-hmm. Carolee has a different range than you do. Yeah, yeah. So generally speaking, like if it's singable for most of us, it's singable 
for, for the most majority. Of, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. So and we have we don't just have one range and everybody's the same. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've done the exact same thing when I'm not on the worship team. I'll you know be singing with Jake, and then all of a sudden I have to go up an octave or down an octave mm-hmm. in a different spot. And mm-hmm. I have to do totally that too. Fine. Believe it or not, like when I go to sing at places. Yeah. Like, the guy will be leading, and if he's a low singer, I can't go that low. Yes. Know? And, like, sometimes a girl singer, I'll sing with her until she goes really high, and then I drop it an octave. Right. Or if you can harmonize, it's even better. <laughs> right, so then you can pick your third or fifth or something right, like yeah. that in there that you can but blend. But not everybody can do that, including myself, very well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So, again, just to, re- re- to reiterate, we got to drop our pr- preferences. You know, well, I would prefer not to have to change my range in the middle of the song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, maybe sometimes you're going to, for the sake of the body or the sake of the family, mm-hmm. or this is the song that God really wanted us to sing to kind of point us in the right yeah. direction. Mm-hmm. We need and to be- we'll sometimes do that, especially early on. Remember, I like... We'd have like four different keys. We try the song out, and, yeah, yeah. And we don't do it as much anymore because we kind of got it figured out where. Right, because you know at. where. Yeah, it's like yeah. oh, we, this yeah. seemed to work well, mm-hmm. and we'll do it in this one or that one. Yeah. Okay. So even the same song, we'll still do it in different keys to mm-hmm. mix it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, well, like when my girls come and sing, yes. I'll bump it up a little bit so that they're not going an octave above the girls because <laughs> <laughs> it'll get too high. It's it right. squeaky. So mm-hmm. that they are comfortable because they have such high voices, you know. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, so then. So that's another variation that we can throw in, and that might hit some other people that don't normally sing in that key for a Sunday. Like, hey, this is my key you now. You yeah. Know? So. And then what about energy? Because sometimes songs, some songs are more reflective. Some mm-hmm. songs are more higher energy. Right. Um, songs, some songs Nathaniel can just rip it, or more he can rip on the drums, and some yeah. songs don't have very much uh, percussion in them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's the variety. You know, God created variety, and, yeah. it, you know, you see it in everything. Yeah, you know, different sure food. One of these we don't just have here. pizza every day, even though that'd be easy. Is that on the, <laughs> is that in there? Blended. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. the word I was looking for. Yeah. yeah we, so so we'll have some older ones, some newer ones, <coughs> mm-hmm. and um, and it might not always be all old or all new or all blended. It might be more of the new ones. Yeah. And sometimes we'll do one where we'll do like a couple of hymns. And we'll do more than one or two of the older ones. Right. And then sometimes the one we struggle with is actually finding stuff in the middle. Like, oh, we got to bring those from like the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> the great era there. My favorite. <laughs> but we'll do it too and we'll do our best at it. And, right. Because, um, and the key is, it, I mean, what is the message of the song? Mm-hmm, how, does right. that, how, how does that harmonize with the text? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of times you'll find one that's like, oh, that fits right in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we have to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And then you do it to the very best of your ability. Right. Yep. In the right key mm-hmm. with with the right dynamics so yeah that's really really good we want to be unified um, mm-hmm. so we want to be blended so that's mm-hmm. kind of the diversity yeah. there's a lot of different diverse parts but we want to be unified in our worship mm-hmm. what's the power of having a unified time of worship together do you think mm-hmm. it just you just sense the Holy Spirit so much more when there's less of our own baggage in the way you know so mm-hmm. we're we're more focused on God, and therefore we can receive from Him so much easier than whether whether we're looking at our belly buttons. Uh, right. Now we're not looking down at our belly buttons. <laughs> no, we're, we're focusing up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All focusing up together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's, well, unity is like, you know, that's how the world is going to know that we're different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because um, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Right. Not by like, hey, we, we believe this, you know, and nobody yeah. else, it's, you know, they're going to see, they're not going to see that. They're going right. to see, and um, one of Jesus's, like, you know, the prayer in Gethsemane, mm-hmm. like his focus was that his followers, you know, would be in unity as they are, like him and the Father. Right. And that was like some of his last prayers. You right. Know? Mm-hmm. And that's what he really, really wanted. So you can see the importance yeah. of that Yeah. with our Savior who we're worshiping. Right. And so when, we, when we're embodying that mm-hmm. and worshiping together, that's like, it's... Um, is fulfilling what he prayed for. Okay. You can think about God was praying for us, <laughs> God the Son, right. praying to God the Father that we would be in unity. Right. And so that's just, you know, that I, you can feel that that power when we're singing as one. So yeah, that's huge. Up for heaven. That's, mm-hmm. that's huge. So, I mean, that's John, Ch- John chapter 17 that mm-hmm. you're talking about where Jesus yeah. does pray that prayer. And he does want us. I mean, so our time together on Sunday all together is... Actually, it, so stuff is happening, mm-hmm. right? right? Yeah, mm-hmm. really big stuff. So mm-hmm. please don't miss out on Sunday. 
Yeah, and you got to be there, experience it, <laughs> right? So <laughs> in yeah, the house, yeah. We mentioned the, if you can be yeah. the Good Friday service or the Easter service, mm-hmm. and every Sunday is and an opportunity, and that's like on another level there, right? Because it's more, even more followers coming together, and it, you can feel that, like, wow, yeah, we can be from different churches, but right. we're still part of the church, right. worshiping as one, the big church, and the power there is just like, yeah, it's really, really, really huge. There's probably hardly a dry eye in there, you know, like, right? Yeah, sometimes you get yeah. to the point where you're just so Mm -hmm. overwhelmed by the truth and by the Mm -hmm. tunes and by the words it's just yeah it's overwhelming just just the unity that you feel during those times Mm -hmm. right it says I think somewhere in in the scripture that um, God inhabits he lives in the praises of his people Mm -hmm. oh man so Mm -hmm. if we're praising Mm -hmm. all with one voice like that that's pretty pretty strong Mm -hmm. you also brought down a sheet of paper that Mm -hmm. talked about uh like, for instance, we have a new song, don't we? Is this yes. what this is? Well, I, because um, I'm a researcher sometimes, yeah. uh, part of the worship distinctives is that word focused. And so I pulled a couple of the songs that we did on Sunday, and I found some references um, in the Bible for them. So, yeah. like, we can go to the new one, the Jesus way. Yeah. And this is a Phil Wickham song? Phil Wickham, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a new one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, I just have, there's so many, all this blue is <laughs> biblical references, but. Yeah, so that's, so this is, the, yeah, yeah, this is really good. Yeah. And even in listening to it, I think we listen to it in staff. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, sometimes I think people, it's like, well, can't we just sing the old ones? Well, why do we have to have all the new ones? You know, and mm-hmm. it's like. Because, sing a new song. Because, yeah, because yeah. God is God said so. <laughs> infinite and eternal. And mm-hmm. so we're never going well, to. Exhaust exactly. That. Go ahead. Well, one of the things is, um, oh, you can you can get to singing a song so many times, so it's good to break it up with some new ones because mm-hmm. if you sing a song enough times, you really sometimes you really have to draw yourself to focus on what it's saying because mm-hmm. it's so familiar. Mm-hmm. So and it's so, like if you're doing a job that you do n- normally all the time, it's repetitive. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. you, you you can stop. Your thinking. mind can go somewhere else. Easily. Yes, mm-hmm. right. But if it's a new one, mm-hmm. and it's really going to grab your attention more. Maybe not the first time or the second time, but maybe right. by the third time you yeah. hear it, mm-hmm. or the tenth time, you know. Yeah. Because like then it's still fresh in your mind, and um, mm-hmm. and then we definitely when when we're doing those new songs, um, they need to be you know word word focused. Right. Because we I mean when you're singing the scriptures in the songs, that's when you feel the yeah. power. Yeah. The Holy Spirit mm, is going to be word yes. is coming through the songs, and so she's going to. Oh, yeah. so share I, some of that. I won't do all of them, obviously, because mm-hmm. there's a ton. But <laughs> so from the Jesus way, if you curse me, then I will bless you. That's uh, Luke six twenty eight. It's commanded by Jesus. Yeah. If you hurt me, I will forgive. So Christ's example summarized in Ephesians four thirty two. Yeah. If you hate me, I will love you. Again, commanded by Jesus in Luke six twenty seven. Mm-hmm. Um, living as Jesus lived, I choose the Jesus way. First John two six. Mm-hmm. If you're helpless, I'll defend you. Proverbs thirty one eight and nine. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like that. The Berean test or whatever, the at Acts 17 testing. Right, you can never go wrong with scripture. scripture. <laughs> yeah. Right, so the song may a song may not be in my preference, but if it is word focused mm-hmm. and Christ exalting, mm-hmm. you know, I need to get on board the train mm-hmm. and and uh, write it to Worshipville. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. There Maybe that'll be the name of our podcast today. The episode, <laughs> Worshipville. Or ride the train to Worshipville. So. Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Take the last train to Clarksville. Okay, nope. never mind. That's All the right, monkeys. Keep going. Oh, okay. You better keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, is there anything else that, so it's, uh, we want people to be actively engaged in worship. So part of, we're, we're wanting to get our Spotify playlist out there too, so that mm-hmm. people can practice during the week. Oh, How thank does, you, I forgot to do that today. I, uh, just for a reminder. Okay. <laughs> How does practicing what we're going to sing on Sunday help? Well, if you're not familiar with the songs, for one, you will be, and then you can participate better, right. you know, um, especially for new ones. Right, and so, so and there's 
Um, and there's other songs on our, I think there's, there were some other songs, um, maybe that's in different playlists. We don't want to overwhelm people with too much stuff, right. but mm-hmm. like Usually one, there's like a recommended songs at the bottom after you get through the four or five that are on there. Mm-hmm. Kind right. Of thing. So we'll sing about four or five songs per Sunday together. Mm-hmm. And so you can listen to those. If you listen to those once a day, I mean, say you're doing, yeah. you know, loading and unloading the dishwasher mm-hmm. exactly, or yeah. folding laundry or, uh, helping me on my deck. You can just yep. put the playlist on and uh, do 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 do. Exactly. And, yep. and, and you might not be listening too closely, but you'll at least be getting some of it. You but get the tune. also, you know, it's a warfare because we, you know, we're battling a spiritual war every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, if you're not regularly playing worship in your house, you know, yeah. um, I would encourage anybody to, to do that. Praise is a weapon. Mm-hmm. I mean, it drives the, drives the enemy away. Sometimes, you know, maybe your kids are like bickering. You're like, what's going on here? You know, yeah. there's no reason. Mm-hmm. And, um, and we'll put some like worship music on, and it, it's great. It's it's amazing how a lot of times it's just like after a couple minutes, it's just kind of like it dissipates. Like but, their whole mm-hmm. attitudes change, yeah. you know. And um, and it's like wow, that was just yeah, you know, it's spiritual war, mm-hmm. right? Because they're like they're not hungry, they shouldn't be tired. Why are you guys <laughs> acting up? You know, yeah, <laughs> right. Going through the checklist, throw some worship music on, you know. Yeah. And sometimes like, oh, they'll even start singing along, you know. Yeah, it and, might um, be some spiritual warfare going mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. Well, because Satan likes us to be. Squabbling, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, God wants us to be unified, right. so mm-hmm. that makes a lot. Something of... from the Word will come through mm-hmm. in the worship music, and um, you know, there's power when the Word is spoken. Yeah, absolutely. Or saying, "I just want to speak the name of Jesus." Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. that song is really powerful because mm-hmm. um, we forget to do that sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. It's a good reminder, like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I should be doing." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so. Um, Practicing throughout the week really helps us to be ready for Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then just making sure that Sundays are a priority. Mm -hmm. Um, How can we make Sundays more of a priority in our monthly, quarterly, yearly schedule? Step one. Just get show there. up. <laughs> Make sure you're there yeah. on time or a little early. Yeah. I feel like mm-hmm. COVID has kind of killed that and that people get too comfortable watching from their chairs right. at home. It's true. Not and it's just it's across the nation, you know. Yeah. Right. It's not yeah. just mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or going less frequently. Like, yeah. oh I went once this month. Yeah, yeah. that's good enough. But mm-hmm. it's really not gonna be enough. <laughs> right. So four times a month is pretty good. I mean in weeks in months that have four weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, where are you going so, some, Sometimes the, a month will have five weeks, and <laughs> yeah. then five times a month is a yes. very good yeah. number yeah. to mm-hmm. to worship. Um, when you think about it, with the, that's a whole different podcast. Okay, what, what oh, is no. that? What's, <laughs> we're it. like, we're, even if you show up every Sunday, we're not even close to what they were doing. Oh yeah, in the, in the, the Bible house. times, in the early going church. house to house and yeah. like breaking mm-hmm. bread. But yeah. like, mm-hmm. but every day, life, that's a life group kind of thing, right? right. So yeah, there <laughs> yeah. are some. So in our overall structure of our church, we have. Uh, our time on Sunday, we have mm-hmm. a life group time that we want to encourage everyone to be a part of a smaller group of people. We mm-hmm. want deeper growth where people are going to be studying, like uh, mm-hmm. every man a warrior. That's something yeah. that has, mm-hmm. is very, very helpful. Um, and then finding a place to serve in our body. Mm-hmm. So those are like the four prongs or right. the, f- the four things coming together to help us to be a more fully uh, ra- well-rounded, fully mm-hmm. formed disciple. Mm-hmm. But and you can incorporate worship in a lot of those things. Mm-hmm. Like in the life groups, yes. listen to a couple of songs and sing them together. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's really and powerful. Like just singing together in a smaller group. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like around the campfire kind of stuff. I mean, how many songs did you sing in youth groups growing up around? And it's like, wow, this is mm-hmm. pretty powerful stuff yeah. here. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Anything uh, you have, we didn't really talk more about your family. So you're married to Val and you have four kids? Right. Yep. Isabel, Ivy, Isaac, Iris. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they they like music too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they do. Yep. So that's going to be fun to see them develop. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They might have a little band here pretty soon. You yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That'd be but really they, good. They love, they, they prioritize, it's cool seeing that they prioritize church, you know, like mm-hmm. being here. Right. Because they'll <laughs> sleep with their church clothes on the big girls so wow. that they will not be late wow <laughs> so yeah because i see them running in here and saying it's like wow here they come you yeah. know so i know it's saturday night because they're going to sleep with a dress on <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yes they don't have time to get ready in the morning yes they and that's really ready. good yeah yeah so i think one of the things that you can do during the week is get ready on saturday 
you know, Ooh. so on Saturday. Mm-hmm. So you're ready to go Sunday morning. Right. Mm-hmm. And well, that, some of us have to, <clears throat> but I mean, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> we, we all need to have to. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, so we yeah, all. Even if you don't have to be here at 8, you know, oh. 8.30. Oh, yeah. And then you practice, right? So that um, mm-hmm. we, you, how, you does, pra- how does your practicing together help? With, <laughs> can you imagine us not practicing oh, at all? Stars. We've done it. Now we can do it sometimes. Sometimes, but we would still have the Sunday morning practice. We've never done it without any without practice. Without any at all. practice. So you practice here. once during the week. Thursday yep. nights, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's for about an hour and a half, two hours. About an hour and a half, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Depending. Yeah. yeah. Depends okay. on if there's new songs or not. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then can Sunday morning is also another hour. Just and like a little bit of a run through to mm-hmm. make sure that we remember what we're doing. And that depends as well too. Yeah. It could be an hour, it could be an hour and a half. We try to keep it to an hour so we yeah. get time to like refresh mm-hmm. before the service. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a doll is dependent on we we try to work with each other's schedules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If someone if enough people can't make it Thursday, yeah. then we're like, well, we'll just do a Sunday morning. That mm-hmm. might be a little more intense mm-hmm. on a right. Sunday morning. But, right. But we don't want to leave people out because of like Oh, I can't show up on a Thursday, but I'd really like to be, be a part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So it's okay if you can, if you if you can handle it. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a little bit grueling on a Sunday morning, but right. mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's still worth it to get mm-hmm. um, get your involvement. In. Yeah, and you're looking for. Are you looking for new team members on the team? Would you say always? Yeah. I mean, we're always. Yeah, <laughs> it's a constant thing. You can. Mm-hmm. You've seen. You know, we've had new team members, and I like the consistent ones. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people can't offer the consistent. You know, every week it makes it easier. Right. Mm-hmm. If you have someone or like consistent every other week or something like that, because mm-hmm. you get to know each other. Yeah. Like when I first came on board, it was a lot of work when I was new here for everybody mm-hmm. else too. Right. Mm-hmm. But everybody was patient and you know bore with me and we learned each other. Yeah. And um, I think so. Maury, it was about like a year in. He's like, I finally, I, I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, so don't leave. Because <laughs> right. it's like it's easy now. I can show up and I can. We know just because yeah. you're communicating a lot of times through your eyes. Right. <laughs> And that's a, I get the shoulder or the fingers because I'm sitting behind you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but there's cues that you learn. Yep. And so it's fun because you also, it's like a mini church within the church, the worship team is, you know, because yeah. like, we have, um, you know, we spend more time together mm-hmm. than, than, than you would if you didn't. Uh, join the worship team, right? So we, we know each other. Well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you pray times together. You pray, pray together. together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've and stopped in the middle of practice to pray. Sometimes we pray more. Other, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep. If something people have things going on, you know, yeah. we we pray for each other. So it's not just about the yeah. worship team and the music, We're, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's about life. It's our mini church. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mini yeah. within yeah. the church. It's a mini yeah. life group. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and that's what and that's what our life groups are. It's a smaller functioning portion of our body. So you can know each other better that way. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really good. Um, we covered a lot of ground, and it's been 46 minutes. I didn't even know wow. that. Can you I believe that? I, well, I don't know how long we're supposed to go. <laughs> we're supposed to cover whatever, yeah, and so I really appreciate this. Hopefully, if you're... Uh, this hopefully just has given you a lot more insight or a little bit more background. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, one of the things I really, really appreciate about our team is the humility and the teamwork mm-hmm. that's there. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you're... It makes it a lot... It makes it easy to work together, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're humble mm-hmm. and you want to work together, I mean, mm-hmm. there's you can do a lot, you mm-hmm. know, and... Um, so that's one of the big qualifications for yeah. someone joining the team. Right. Is mm-hmm. definitely humility. Well... Yeah, prima donnas can one. wait. Yeah, you can wait yeah. to. Yeah, so and it's not humble as in you don't share your opinion. You know, no, because that would be just. Right. You know, no, that'd be yeah. a mouse. You know, no mouses right. are needed. So you like, need to step up and. Yeah. Hey, what did you think about? And you know, I've been a part of praise team practice. I'm actually going to be mm-hmm. practicing this week. Yep. This week I'm going to mm-hmm. be strumming along. Nice. And Mm -hmm. so it's good. I mean, you ask input from the drummer or Mm -hmm. from the bass player or, you know, you're kind of, you know, from the keys or vocalist. I mean, so it's like it is a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a team. It's It's not not the Jake show. It's the God show. (laughs) (laughs) The God show. That's that's really good. Yeah, it's all about him. Yeah, yeah, we try to work together. And some people we want to, you know, you have to probe out of them. What do you really want? Because they don't want to, they don't want to step on toes. Right. But you want to have such small feet, your toes can step on. Wow. (laughs) That would be. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, I have giant feet, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Not symbolic. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's really, really good. So we're really glad that you've been able to be a part of uh, the On Our Way Home podcast today, uh, watching or listening. And, uh, you know, we're really thankful. Hopefully this will really help you to worship God better uh, mm-hmm. with his people all together unified, bringing all of our praise together to mm-hmm. Jesus. And that's what we're made to do. So thanks so much that's for right. watching and listening today and we will catch you next time. See ya. Bye.